Hello guys, it's me again, Bearded Weasel Gaming, and here we have Lord of the Rings Online. Right now, I have my other character, but today we're going to talk a little bit about Lord of the Rings Online, and we're going to go for a new character, and we're going to play this one a little bit. So, I was already thinking maybe have a little dwarf uh, you got man obviously then you got dwarf you got hobbit and you got elf now all of these come with traits you got advantages and disadvantages this one our little dwarf here has got sturdiness which gives it a plus 15 might plus 10 vitality and a plus 1 common vegetation. It's stocky which minuses 7 to the agility. Minus 7 to fate because of lost dwarf, dwarf kingdoms. Unwearying in battle. Plus 30 in combat. Morale regen. Now morale and power regen. Basically morale is your health and power is your stamina and uh, I can see that we've got plus 30 in both of them in combat minus 60 health regen out of combat and minus 30 on com uh, power you can only now this is another thing about this game you can only use one type of weapon so obviously depending on what type of class you select hunters obviously Oh, they can still use one-handed axes. Oh. But, uh, yeah, they can use bows. Um, I'm thinking go for a champion. Or maybe, what's... Oh, guardian look cool. Um, minstrel. Minstrels are healers. No, let's go for a champion. Yeah. Champion dwarf. There we go. Uh, these, obviously, turn your character around. It's a lovely scenery. Looks quite nice. Continue. Let's, what should we call him? Um, let's call him. Uh, hmm. Oh, oh yeah, origin. Now these, basically, where they come from, basically. Uh, Lonely Mountain, obviously, with the new Hobbit film as well coming out. Well, I think it's out now. Um, you do actually see this in the distance of where they are. Um, it looks really, really nice, actually. Um, what shall we do? Iron Hills, Grey Mountains, White Mountains. No, let's go for the Lonely Mo No, Iron Hills. Yeah. Uh, where's our randomize button? There we are. You know what? I'm going to do it myself. Oh, no, no, no. Where's hair? Hair, hair. Hairstyle, there we are. Oh, nice. Little mohawk. Oh yes. Shall we go for all white? Oh no, that's a grey beard. Uh, 
just do that. Right. There we are. We have our little dwarf. Oh. Oh no. A name. Who? Who shall this name be? Orkari. Oh. Orkari. There we are. Right. Enter the Middle Earth. Now we're going to show you a little bit on the uh, tutorial missions as well when this finally loads up. <laughs> While about to begin your long day of work at the Silver 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 Mine, an old man beckons for you to come near. He is a close advisor of Thorin Oakenshield, the master of these halls. What could There's he Gandalf. A simple miner such as yourself. Will you yeah, so you right man. click on the with me to the spell? on people and objects. And if you uh you can look around tab to zoom in. Uh not tab, uh scroll wheel. And if you do the right click and hold it down, you can uh use the mouse to move around so all in all it looks look quite good ah dwalin 13 will not do oh what oh yeah these these are attacks so we've got wild attack uh, we've got a blade wall and we've got swift strike uh, these down here we've got uh, the system menu which is basically your main options we've got crafting yeah, there's, there's a hell of a lot of crafting in the game learn a lot of new skills a social not been on this one but, um, your friends list, kinship, raid groups, and group stages. And we've got all of these. These are all people. Don't know what the green bit means, but yeah, these are all other people around so which is quite good actually it shows you who's online and everything uh, we've got the deed log which I'm still not quite sure about I need to I need to have a look at this a little bit more but um Then we've got quest log, obviously. Talk to Gummer, the new steward of Thorin's Hall. Right then, let's go ahead and do this. Gummer, doorsmith. Hello. And Satchel near the door. Right click on glowing items. Satchel, there we are. Oh, rusted long sword. A knife. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, all the items are taken. Right. Talk to Gimli. <gasps> Gimli! Hello. your weapon yet? Obviously you can press the number buttons on your keyboard to do your power-ups. Yay! 
Yay! Right, so... Oh! Now these are the doors that we have. Well, they have in the game. Basically you open this door and then it's like a teleporter inside. So you just walk through. And it takes you onto another loading screen. Which these ones aren't that long. Well, they shouldn't be. So, we've got... We've got to clear out all these miners! A shaking tunnel is never a good sign, and we could even feel it outside. Quickly, Orokai. You take this passage straight ahead, and I'll go off into the side passage. Okay. Right then. Talk to the miners. Any more? Hello? Aha! Monsi! Come on, get out of here. Uh, is there another one? <gasps> cave claw! Oi! You killed a cave claw! Follow Foreman Atur. <gasps> wow! Look at a massive gem. Oh! God, I wish I could mine right here. Um. Oh, you bloody idiot! You're making the mountain bloody. You make you make it. Oh, oh, hello, Mr. Cave Troll. Oh no, I can't go there. He's too far away. Oh, Gimli, you ain't bloody. How can you call him oversized? Has it opened up? Come on then. Go. Go! Go! We must go this way. You mean... You could have done that a... Uh. Right. Well, surely Gimli's just gone that other way. <gasps> A dwarf corpse! Oh no! What do you have on him? Oh yeah, you press I and it brings up... You've got three bags. Obviously you can buy more. And uh Defeat Cave Claws as you make your way to Gimli and the Troll. <gasps> yes! Ah! Die! Haha! <laughs> Up yours! Ah, ah, yes. Go. Ah, 
<laughs> he dead. Gimli! 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 Hello! Oh, what did, what did you do? No! Now he's stone. Oh, what's this? Have there, Gorba. I found a trinket underfoot. You found the body of a dwarf, did you? You found the body of a dwarf, did you? Do you hear that, Gorba? I wonder if. Orkai has come upon Skorgrim lying under the collapsed ruins where he was smoked by an elf warrior named Talagon. <gasps> oh no! But that is a matter for years long past. My business is with Thorin today. Gamor may look into the grave of his ancestor while he is steward of this land in Thorin's absence. Finish now! And that was and the we're done. Right then, now we enter. Oh. Uh, where do we enter again? Ah, ah. Here we are. Oh. Nos Grimsong. I These all have really funny names. Yes, I know about the guiding system. Uh, and we talk to this fellow. It <gasps> it's an that elf! I thought elves we weren't allowed in purposes. the dwarf land. I thought they were enemies. Uh, when, uh, when you have a quest that has two items here, Basically, you're only allowed to choose one, unfortunately. You can't take both. Ooh, 25 armor. I don't want light armor, I want... Ah, uh, that's medium armor. Let's take that one. Mind my words. Next objective, seek... My father Mere then insight on the riddle of Elrond's dream. Accept. Right. Where is he? He's down here. Ah, you shot an arrow. Oh, Mere then. Seek Dorolus's insight on the riddle of Elrond's dream. Where are you? Ah. I was the one who led the party here, but okay. there's a Now let's go see that other person. Where is he? There he is! Why did Dorolos lead us here? Scorpion Mended dwarf make leather gloves. Twelve armor, eight armor. Let's go for the ones that offer more armor rating. Yay! Level up! Speak with your class trainer. Right, our class tra you have all of these class trainers here, we've got a lot, uh, these are merchants, you've got the light armor smith, weapon smith, and there should be a boy here, yeah. um, there should be 
Um, medium. Oh, there's a grocer. Medium armor smith. There we are. You right click on him. I'm going to sell my dull knife. Now we open eye as well. We've got. You right click these straight away and they pretty much go straight on. They will equip straight away. Uh, some items you can't wear until you get to a minimum level. Um, shoulder pads. I have two silver and 52 bronze. I could buy those. Ooh. Right, if we go feet. Actually, you know what? Let's wait until we've done all of the training missions, then sort our armor out, right? So, we will go to our weapon trainer. Thrill of the fight. Learn the skill Savage Strikes and use it against a training dummy. You will get a hell of a lot of uh, training stuff. Greetings to you. Use my training menu to purchase your new skill, then use it that skill to strike the training dummy. Right, so train champion skills, Maybe shove his strikes, train. And you get it down here. See we got that savage strikes. You have cooldowns, which is basically that's one point eight seconds. 4.2 seconds, 3.2 seconds, and 4.2 seconds. You you get the idea, basically. You have to let it recharge, basically. And then we go here. We're going four. attacking it you will level up a lot training dummy 71 million health so there is no point in attacking it because they're stupidly powerful we already get the tarnish blade. <gasps> Worn hand axe. Let's get that one. Yeah. So, if we open up the menu, we've got the tarnish blade and the worn hand axe. Now, if you're looking to equip both of these onto your character, you open up, uh, where is it, the character panel. From here, you can change everything. And down here, you can bring this back here. And this one. And you go like that, and like that. There we are. These both have 6 to 10 with 4.3 damage per second and there we are We've got range weapon slot, craft tool and the class slot right right enough of that for now let's get back onto our quest so we can get away from here and go straight 
into the fight. You have a true warrior's heart. Yes, I know. Next objective. Talk to Dorniel about her memories of Elrond. Right. Where is she? Ah. She's up here somewhere. Look at all the snow. And just in time for Christmas as well. Ah. There she is. I do not think I have the will to go back into that place. Right. There's someone here, apparently. Straight ahead. Just around the corner. Aha! Right. Grusin of the Lonely Mountain. Oh, how nice. Hello. What do you need? Might you spare a moment of your time? Right. So as you can see, we got two uh, vials these it's just basically like potions basically on use we get 100 to 150 power and for this one we get health so stamina and health and now we have to go and defeat pests how come I don't have permission to open the gate? Ugh, stupid thing. It was open a second ago. Oh yes, yeah, so you see how Mr. Grussin has uh, a title? Basically, you get given titles when you do certain things, and what the hell is it doing? Oh. Anyway, <coughs> I thought that was a quest mission then. It's not though. So when you complete certain missions and certain things, you get uh, the ability to change your title. So if we go down to our character panel, it says select your title. So we've got me, all cry of the Iron Hills, make active. So now, when people see me, it will say, all cry of the Iron Hills. Now where is this? Ah, there's the stairs. I don't want to be falling down there though. I think I've gone the wrong way. Oh, it's up there. Oh, what? How, how do I get up there? Wait, is it this? Oh, it, I think it's this. Ah. Kill this one. Ha ha ha. Oh no, he hasn't got anything on him. Yeah, whatever. Ah, 
Hey, that was mine. Yeah, I've got the uh, auto um, loot, so basically when I kill something I don't have to right click and uh, select what I want to take. Basically, as it says here, you've acquired a broken claw pending, you've acquired a tiny carapace. Uh, down here it says if someone's defeated something, so I've just got a total of 14 XP for that. Alright, so let's carry on with the mission. Find the site where Scourger's body was found. And that was... That was here, wasn't it? Was it not? Alright, anyway guys I shall uh, carry on I won't, well I won't carry on with this we'll go from where we left off and uh, I shall see you all next time bye bye